Hey YouTube, we're here working in uh, 60C. This is a this is a good one. This is a bad one. Uh, 60C, two 2200 milliamp 3S lipo. Uh, balance charger lead XT60. The other day I went to fly my turbo jet, which is cool, and I had almost no thrust. And I said, Ah, crap! It's finally died on me. And so I said, nope, instinctively I said, let's try the battery first. So what I've done is I've started by getting some of the prep work done, just getting the label peeled off and just stick it to a piece of packing tape here. And um, that way you can have it preserved for later on when you go to reapply it to the case, if you can fix it. And I'll be the first one to admit uh, doing this is fairly dangerous. Wear safety glasses. I've got an exhaust vent in case I'd have a discharge of gases um, and then I have a fire extinguisher close by so just be careful if you get into this obviously do it at your own risk I got a sharp knife scissors and uh, a little voltage tester here so we're going to start by going ahead and testing the voltage and I'll show you how that's done if you don't already have one of these you should get yourself one um, it says negative down here and this will do up to looks like 8s so We'll just show you how it looks on a regular one. Just plug it in, and this is also an alarm. So it's three R RC, so it's 12.4 total voltage, uh, 4.13, uh, 4.12, and 4.16. Okay, great. And then it shows the total, and it just toggles through those. And then once this reaches a certain level, it's gonna chirp, so it's nice when you're in your plane. Um, you can tell when you're about to lose power so you can get on the ground quick. So just gonna plug it in here. Three cell, all 9.37. Cell number one, 4.13. Cell number two is bad at 0.84. And cell number three at 4.15. So that means that we either had a genuine loss of cell number two, this one, or we have a wire that's detached. My guess is we have a wire detached. However, I've been wrong before, be wrong again. So what we have to do is we have to get to where the wires are landed across the three uh, lithium cells, the lithium polymer cells. And uh, this is a 3S and you can see the cells are a little bit more exposed. This is like a 8C battery, it's an old one. Um, but if you guys know anything about lithium batteries, lithium packs lipo packs um, they just kind of tape the cells together and then the contacts get put into series and then these two big leads are the leads that go to your device and then these are for the balance charging they go to um, the negative and then the positive of each of the respective uh, cells so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up a little bit more and uh, I'm going to show you what we have once we get it opened Okay guys, so the way you can do this is, is a couple of different ways. First of all, uh, when you get ready to start dealing with the wires, just be careful what's behind you. This is plastic. I have steel here in case it would catch fire. I can throw it up on there so it doesn't hopefully burn the house down. Um, but I take and I start with an X-Acto knife and I just cut a line. And then you can take this and then you can keep peeling around and you'll eventually expose to where you need to see what you need to see. Now, if we have a bad pack, if we have a bad uh, lipo pack, which is possible, then uh, we may end up having to throw out the cell. Most people would just say throw out the cell. Sorry, these are kind of expensive. I'm not throwing it away. And I've taken a, a number of different 3S cells and turned them into 2S cells. So this one we can get out of the way. Uh, so anyway, when I get this peeled back, this piece wraps over the top and then there's a piece of foam squishy foam sorry my focus is doing so bad guys but the squishy foam just gives a little bit of protection to those uh, endpoints on the lithium packs so we're going to get to that and then we'll show you how we did that here in a second and we'll see what's wrong with uh, cell number one which incidentally uh, excuse me cell number two cell number two should be the, the blue one I'm assuming and of course, you can actually take a voltmeter and just go ground to, to two and see what the voltage is. And yes, you can 
pull each of these individually out and get to them real quick. You just stick a sharp object in there, push down that tab, and then this con connector will pull straight out. So you can address uh, questions about SQL cells. So keep watching. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I uh, just peeled that off all in one big piece. You can see we got a little bit of crash damage on this battery from a while ago, I believe. It does look like we have a little bit of puffiness in that middle pack, which is typically going to be cell 2. We can see here where that wire terminates. So, sometimes they will... That little tab will actually break off of the LiPo cell. And then you're screwed, and you got to throw away the cell. Because this is very difficult to get those to recontact. So keep watching here. I'm going to take this hard plastic shell off, and I will retain that for later if I can reassemble this pack and make a good cell. And then you basically just cover it with packing tape or whatever, whatever thick plastic you want to use. Okay, guys, I found the problem. It's right here. We have an actual leak in our cell. I'm going to grab a light so I can shine it on there. Um... So what that means is that this battery is going to be pretty much, boy that didn't help much. This middle battery cell is garbage, okay? So now I have to decide whether I'm going to try to desolder these leads and take this 3S connector and put a 2S connector on it so we can balance charge it still. Um, and this is this is all the different plastics and things like that that you know go into wrapping it to protect it and evidently I pushed pushed it too hard at some point or just from crushing I'm you know have this open cavity here which is which is how this cell is allowed to fail so what I have to do is I have to separate them desolder the blue lead and then basically put the other two in in series together, which shouldn't really be that hard. But we're just gonna we're just gonna figure out how hard that really is, and then uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do at the end. Okay, so as you can see, I took this uh, blue wire out of the 3S terminal uh, balance charger plug, and. Uh, just so you can see this without having to visualize it. We've got the main contact point. It's just one of the two leads on this battery, on, on this cell. I mean, individual cells are three point something volts each. And then they just put them in series. That's what a 3S battery is, three in series. That's why instead of 3C for three cells. Um, that's what I have to figure out how to do. As you can see where that, that blue wire is attached. Um, looks like I'm going to have to bridge from this blue wire to where the yellow wire is um, while eliminating the connections to the cell itself. So you just got to be careful to tape over your exposed leads while you're working because believe me if you touch those leads if you touch this lead to the black even though this cell is mostly dead um, it's still gonna have a reactive um, it's it's gonna try to catch on fire I don't know maybe it wouldn't it's low enough it may not catch on fire but the other two you just kinda don't want to risk it if you're trying to save them now the other thing you could do is at this point if you're like you know what I'm not comfortable doing this you could just clip your leads clip your positive and your negative, save those for another application, and uh, the bounce charge leads are helpful for other applications too. So, But at this point, I want to make a 2S uh, battery because my son has a new toy we're going to use it on. So anyway, keep watching. I'll show you how these two separate. And again, just a real close-up view, you can see those those contact points are actually little, little tabs that are like a foil tab. And... Uh, it's all they use to put these things together, so keep watching. Okay, so now that we've desoldered um, these two wires, and we can pick whatever color we want for the middle color. I don't really care what color it is. It doesn't really matter. And I've replaced um, the balance lead from 3S with, 
with four terminals to 2S with three. And so here in a minute, I'm gonna actually be removing the cell by desoldering it or taking and clipping the lead uh, to, to break it free. And then I'll clip the lead on the other side and break it free. And then that, that um, individual cell can be thrown away. Um, may run a nail through it just to get all the chemical reactivity out of it so it doesn't start a fire in the garbage truck. Okay, so you can see guys, I'm just using side cutters to go in here and cut. 